Let's put our hands together, church. We're going to let our praise rise this morning to our King. How many of you know praise is our weapon? We're going to go ahead and praise this morning and the walls are going to come down and we're going to silence the enemy with our praise today. Let praise be a weapon that conquers all anxiety. Let it rise and praise the rise. We see your name in the dark and it changes everything. We sing with all we are and claim your victory. Let it rise and praise the I gotta let it out. I can't hold back my 
your name. There is so much power in the name of Jesus. Do y'all believe that this morning? Let's put our hands together. Do you believe that God is fighting for you? He is standing right by your side. He is walking the path with you. And he is defending you and he is taking care of you. He has done it this far. He will continue to take care of you and continue to defend you. Put your hands together, church.
you will not die. We will surely live in Jesus' name. He is healing you right now. He is touching you. He is walking with you. We trust in you, Jesus. Come on and just love on him for being with you, for taking care of you. You are here for no other reason but to lift up the name of Jesus. You are here for a purpose. You are here for a reason. And we lift up the name of Jesus here together. Rock of Ages, do you agree with me this morning? Come on, let's sing this out. God is fighting for us. Pushing back the darkness. Lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken. In the name of Jesus, enemies defeated. And we will shout it out, shout it out. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us here in this house so we can lift up your name together as a body of Christ. Are you all happy to be in this house this morning? Amen. I don't know what you've gone through this week, but we're here today and we can lift up his name and he will give us the peace that we need. Amen. Amen. I got to take my breath. Jesus always takes away my breath. Amen. We want to welcome any first-time visitors in this house this morning. Do we have any, some, anybody here for the first time that you have came to visit our church this morning? Do we have anybody? You can raise your hand nice and high so we can see you this morning. Do we have anybody here? Don't be shy. Just raise up your hand. We want to give you something this morning. Where? Amen. Thank you for coming this morning to visit us. We have a family right over here towards the doors. If you can keep your hands up so that... They can hand something to you this morning. We pray the Lord will bless you this morning and your family. Amen. Anybody else here for the first time? Just lift up your hands. Amen. We also want to welcome any first-time viewers that are viewing our live stream for the first time. We welcome you. We pray the Lord will bless you this morning and your family, that he'll begin to just stir something inside of you and just wake up all that goodness that he's put inside of you. Go ahead and comment in the comments below that you're viewing for the first time, or you can go to our website and fill out an online connect card. We want to be able to reach out to you and just pray over your family and just be there for you whenever you need a friend, a family to just pray over you. You can also, everyone that's viewing right now, go ahead and share this live stream. Let's reach out all our friends and family this morning. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to continue to worship the Lord. I just want to share a little bit of something that the Lord put in my heart this week. 
um, when the apostles were preaching the word of God, they, they had been empowered by the Holy Spirit and they were performing all these miracles and signs and wonders all in the name of Jesus. Scripture tells us that the high priest and his council weren't too happy with that and they arrested them and put them in public jail. I don't know if anybody here has felt like you've been put in, in a public jail because you are a Christian and you are a believer, but sometimes things happen and you feel like it silences that voice inside of you. The high priest and the council arrested them, put them in public jail and tried to use their authority to publicly silence the word of God, to publicly discredit the gospel. But that night an angel of the Lord came into the jail, took them out, and this is what he told them, and this is what I want to remind you of. If you feel that the enemy has used something in your life, in, your situ in your, a situation in your life, maybe a broken, a broken marriage, a broken family, you lost your job, you don't know how you're going to make ends meet, and the enemy's using that to silence the good news inside of you, the angel told the apostles, go and preach the good news in the temple courts. Because the enemy might try to use his power to use the things that happen to you to silence you. And then when, you, when it's time to lift up your hands and praise the Lord, sometimes it holds you down. But the power of Jesus inside of you is much stronger than anything the enemy can use against you. So go and proclaim his goodness and lift up your hands and praise his name. Jesus' name this morning. Let's continue our worship this morning. Amen. Mountains are still being moved. Strongholds are still being loosed. God, I believe it. Yes, we can see that. Wonders are still what you do. And bodies are still being Giants are still being slain. God, I believe it. Yes, we can see that wonders are still what you do.
Thank you for moving. We need to move. Oh, Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come in like a flood. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come in like a flood. Holy Spirit, come. to do something amazing in their hearts, Jesus. And we are here for you, God. We are not here for any other reason, Jesus, but just to be here for you, God. And Jesus, we come in agreement, Jesus. You are here today. You are here today. God, we worship you, Jesus. You are here with us, God, right now. You are walking with us. Every step of the way, God, you have been there, Jesus. Even when we didn't see it, God, you were there. Father, sometimes we feel like you have left us, but it's us turning away, God. It's never you, Jesus. You never left us, God. And you never will leave us, God. You will never forsake us. That is your promise, Jesus. That is your promise, Jesus, and you are a man of your word. You are faithful. And God, we put our trust in you. You are there in the fire with us. You are there when the mountain is right in front of us, God, and you are moving it in our behalf, Jesus. You are splitting the sea, God, where there looked to be no way. You made a way, God, and you are making a way today, Jesus. You are making a way, God, where there seems to be no way. victory because your power is within me and no giant can defeat me because you hold my hand no fire can burn me Yeah. 
when we feel alone, you are there in the fire with me. Oh, yes, you are. today, God, we are believing that the mountain will move today. In Jesus' name, we have faith in you, God. We have faith, Jesus. Let that be our weapon today, our faith. Oh, we believe it, because you are fighting for me. You are walking with me, Lord, and I hold your authority, Jesus, the resurrection power. Oh, the power that raised you from the dead is living inside of us, Jesus, and we are so thankful for that, God. Holy Spirit, you are here today. You are walking with me. No fire can burn me. No battle can turn me. No mountain can stop me. And I'm walking in your victory. And no giant. a battle. No, you've never lost a battle. I know, I know, you never
worship you. We know that you can do all things, Jesus. You can do all things. Sing it with me, church. You can do all things but fail. Because you never lost a battle. No, you never lost a battle. I know, I know, you never will. You can do all things. You can do all things but fail. Because you never lost a battle. No, you never lost a battle. I know, I know, you never will. One more time. Oh, you can do all things. You can do all things but fail. Because you never lost a battle. No, you never lost a battle. I know. 